Let's all stand and remain standing until the conclusion of the reading of the proclamation. Ladies and gentlemen, the proclamation. All persons having any business before this honorable court, now draw nigh. <laughs> Give your attendance, and you shall be heard. Admission of lawyers. Medini Wenish. When Nushu Bandara Agamana. May it please the court, I move that Medini Venushi Bandara Agamana be admitted as a lawyer of this honorable court. Let Medini Venushi Bandara Agamana be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Manish Arora. May it please the court, I move that Manish Arora be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Manish Arora be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Michael Anthony Austin Rogers. May it please the court, I move that my son, Michael Anthony Austin Rogers, be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Michael Anthony Austin Rogers be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Conrad O'Brien Beckman. May it please the court, I move that Conrad O'Brien Beckman be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Conrad O'Brien Beckman be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Toby Noel Bealshanks. May it please the court, I move that Toby Noel Bealshanks be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Toby Noel Bealshanks be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Ashley Taylor Blannan. May it please the court, I move that Ashley Taylor Blannan be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Ashley Taylor Blannan be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Nielsen George Vanstein Brown. May it please the court, I move that Nielsen George Vanstein Brown be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Nielsen George Vanstein Brown be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Christine Yana Devera Buetra. May it please the court, I move that Christine Yana Devera Buetra. Be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Christine Yana Devira Boetra be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Brian Francot de Silva. May it please the court, I move that Brian Francho de Silva be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Brian Francho de Silva be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Matthew James Dean. May it please the court, I move that Matthew <coughs> James Dean be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Matthew James Dean be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Kathleen Angela Fraser. May it please the court, I move that Kathleen Angela Fraser be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Kathleen Angela Fraser be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Laura Jessica Garley. May it please the court, I move that Laura Jessica Garley be, admoved, be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Laura Jessica Garley be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Zenian Jin. May I please the court? I move that Zhe Zhe Nian Jiang be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Zen Yang Jian be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Juliet Marriott Kedu. May I please the court? I move that Juliet Marriott Kedu be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Juliet Marriott Kedu be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Christopher William Kenny. May it please the court? I move that Christopher William Kenny be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Christopher William Kenny be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Newman Khalid. May it please the court, I move that Newman Khalid be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Newman Khalid be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Maria Yuan Lei. May it please the court, I move that Maria Yuan Lei be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Maria Yuan Lei be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Na Yeon Lee. May it please the court, I move that Na Yeon Lee be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Na Yeon Lee be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Jacob Joshua Lerner. May it please the court, I move that my son Jacob Joshua Lerner be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Jacob Joshua Lerner <coughs> be admitted as a lawyer of this court. 
Stella Lee. May it please the court, I move that Stella Lee be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Stella Lee be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Joshua Anthony Maloof. May it please the court, I move that Joshua Anthony Maloof be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Joshua Anthony Maloof be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Rebecca Mansour. May it please the court, I move that Rebecca Mansour be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Rebecca Mansour be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Weiju Mao. May it please the court, I move that Weiju Mao be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Weiju Mao be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Victoria Moran. May it please the court, I move that Victoria Moran be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Victoria Moran be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Christine Anna Makovsky. May it please the court, I move that Christine Anna Makovsky be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Christine Anna Makovsky be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Charlotte Valentina Paloma Mikulovsky. May it please the court, I move that Charlotte Valentina Paloma Mikulovsky be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Charlotte Valentina Paloma Mikulovsky be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Uma Morgana Osachi. May it please the court, I move that my sister Uma Morgana Osachi be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Uma Morgana Osachi be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Elise Papanicolas. May it please the court, I move that Elise Papanicolas be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. <coughs> Let Elise Papanicolas be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Sonia Sandeep Patel. May it please the court, I move that Sonia Sandeep Patel be admitted as a member of this honourable court. Let Sonia Sandeep Patel be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Max Frederick Poach. May it please the court, I move that Max Frederick Poach be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Max Frederick Poach be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Annalise Patrice Hope Russell. May it please the court, I move that my partner, Annalise Patrice Hope Russell, be admitted as a lawyer to this honourable court. Let Annalise Patrice Hope Russell be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Chantelle Ann Ryan. May it please the court, I move that Chantelle Anne Ryan be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. <coughs> Let Chantelle Anne Ryan be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Zachary Matthew Delau Salalila. I please the court. I move that Zachary Matthew Delau Salalila be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Zachary Matthew Delau Salalila be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Sophia Roberta Lucci Seaton. May it please the court, I move that my daughter, Sophia Roberta Lucci Seaton, be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Sophia Roberta Lucci Seaton be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Butika Singha. May it please the court, I move that Butika Singha be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Butika Singha be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Maheswaran Sridharan. May it please the court, I move that Maheswaran Sridharan be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Maheshwaran Sridharan be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Thomas Harold Winter Stanley Davis. May it please the court, I move that Thomas Harold Winter Stanley Davies be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Thomas Harold Winter Stanley Davies be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Yuran Wang. May it please the court, I move that Yiran Wang be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Yiran Wang be admitted as a lawyer of this court. <coughs> Sally Lee Westlake. May it please the court, I move that Sally Lee Westlake be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Sally Lee Westlake be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Thomas Alfred Hayward Williams. May it please the court, I move that Thomas Alfred Hayward Williams be admitted as a lawyer in this honourable court. Let Thomas Alfred Hayward Williams be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Melanie Jane Williams. May it please the court, I move that Melanie Jane Williams be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Melanie Jane Williams be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Yang Su. May it please the court, 
I move that Yang Zhu be admitted as a lawyer of this honourable court. Let Yang Zhu be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Say Ming, yeah. Let Ziming Ye be admitted as a lawyer of this court. Lei Ming Zhu. Let Lei Ming Zhu be admitted as a lawyer of this court. It will now be necessary for those whose admission has just been moved uh, to um, stand as and when directed and remain standing for the purposes of swearing uh, an oath or making uh, an affirmation. So please stand as directed by the officiating officer. Could the first two rows to my right please stand? Thank you. Medini Wenushi Bandara Aganmana. Manish Aurora. Michael Anthony Austin Rogers. Conrad O'Brien Beckman. Toby Noel Billshanks. Ashley Taylor Blannon. Nielsen George Bernstein Brown. Kristen Yana Devira Buetre. Brian Francott De Silva. Matthew James Dean. Kathleen Angela Fraser, Laura Jessica Garley, Zenian Jin, Juliette Mariette Kado, Christopher William Kenny, Newman Khalid. Do you severally swear or declare and affirm that you will truly and honestly conduct yourselves in the practice of a lawyer of the Supreme Court of New South Wales? and that you will faithfully serve as such in the administration of the laws and usages of this state according to the best of your knowledge, skill, and ability. Would you please say, so help me God, or I do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. <coughs> Would the next two rows behind please stand? <coughs> Maria Yuan Lei. Na Yeon Lee. Jacob Joshua Lerner. Stella Lee, Joshua Anthony Malouf, Rebecca Mansour, Weiju Mao, Victoria Marin, Christine Anna Makovsky, Charlotte Valentina Paloma Mikolovsky, Uma Morgana Osachi, Elise Papan Nicholas, Sonia Sandeep Patel, Max Frederick Poach, Annalise Patrice Hope Russell. Do you severally swear or declare and affirm that you will truly and honestly conduct yourselves in the practice of a lawyer of the Supreme Court of New South Wales and that you will faithfully serve as such in the administration of the laws and usages of this state according to the best of your knowledge, skill and ability? Would you please say, so help me God, or I do. I do. Thank you. Please be seated. With the two rows to my left, please stand. <coughs> Chantelle Ann Ryan, Zachary Matthew Delal Salalila, Sophia Roberta Lucci Seaton, Vitika Sinha, Maheswaran Sridharan, Thomas Harold Winter Stanley Davis, Yuran Wang, Sally Lee Westlake, Thomas Alfred Hal Hayward Williams, Melanie Jane Williams, Yang Su. Zai Ming Ye, Le Ming Zhu. Do you severally swear or declare and affirm that you will truly and honestly conduct yourselves in the practice of a lawyer of the Supreme Court of New South Wales and that you will faithfully serve as such in the administration of the laws and usages of this state according to the best of your knowledge, skill and ability? Would you please say, so help me God, or I do? Thank you. Please be seated. Well, may I warmly welcome you all to this, the Banco Court of the Supreme Court of New South Wales. Present with me uh, on the bench today, to my right is Justice Adamson, who is a judge of the Court of Appeal. To my left, Justice Griffiths, also a judge of the Court of Appeal. Together, we constitute the court that has, in the exercise of its jurisdiction, admitted you, the newly admitted lawyers, uh, to practice this afternoon. We've done so sitting on the land for which the Gadigal of the Eora Nation have cared and been custodians for thousands of years, and the court 
pays its sincere respects to elders past and present and extends those respects to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. I acknowledge that sitting with us on the bench today to my far left is His Honour Judge Robert Sutherland, SC of the District Court of New South Wales, and I also happily acknowledge uh, uh, in an in incognito capacity uh, the Honourable Michael Daly, uh, MP, Attorney General uh, of New South Wales. Um, we're uh, honoured to have both Judge Sutherland and the attorney with us this afternoon. To all the newly admitted lawyers, welcome to the legal profession. Today is one for great celebration. We know how hard you have all worked uh, to reach this stage. Uh, the memory, uh, I hope, of today, but also of the hard work, is one that probably will never leave you. I'm also pleased to welcome uh, those with you today or watching uh, on the live stream. For many of you, the support of your family and friends will have been invaluable on the journey to this point. No doubt they've also been on the receiving end of your finely polished or emerging skills of argument and persuasion. I encourage you to take the time to thank them for their perseverance. And depending on how good an advocate each of you have become, you might even convince your supporters to shout you uh, a long uh, and happy dinner uh, tonight to celebrate uh, the occasion. Now, in being admitted as a lawyer of this court, you join uh, an honourable and ancient profession with the custom of advocates swearing an oath on admission to practice dating back to the 12th century. This court first admitted lawyers in 1824, nearly 200 years ago, and by 1830, the names of lawyers were being entered onto the rolls in the state, just as you will do immediately after uh, this ceremony, continuing uh, that tradition. And it is in acknowledgement of the weighty responsibility which you have all severally sworn to uh, adhere to and undertake that we observe today's unique formalities, including the fact that your admission has been moved by somebody who is already a member of the profession and that you have made a formal oath or affirmation in the presence of your family and peers. They are all therefore literally witnesses to the promises and undertakings you have made publicly today. In terms of tradition and formality, you will see from the portraits of, uh, on the walls of this court uh, of former Chief Justices that we are wearing the same robes, in some cases literally, uh, as have been worn by our predecessors. Now, we do so not because they're particularly comfortable, uh, because they are not, uh, but they do mark a very important symbolism, and that is the continuity of the rule of law in New South Wales for the last 200 years, although the judges wearing the robes are now drawn from an increasingly diverse uh, pool of talent. As to continuity of the rule of law, in a world in which there is so much global uncertainty and insecurity, as we sadly know, the rule of law is more important than ever. And it's not simply some academic phrase or a phrase of some theoretical import. The rule of law is the opposite of the arbitrary abuse of power and the rule of autocratic dictators and populists without an independent judiciary, an independent prosecution service, and the like. The rule of law is extremely important and can never be taken for granted. Now, the law touches every part of our society and it can will, and will lead you all in many different directions and career paths. But in whatever direction you head, you must always remember that the oath or the affirmation that you have just made is a serious one and deserves solemn regard. Whether you work in private practice, at the bar, in a community legal centre, the Aboriginal Legal Service, a Crown Law Office, a government department or agency as a prosecutor or a defender in legal aid or indeed in an entirely different field, you should be known for your honesty, your integrity and your commitment to justice and you must strive at all times to uphold these cardinal values. Now, notwithstanding the formality and tradition attending this ceremony and to which I have referred, not everything uh, in the legal profession remains unchanging. 
the rapid uh, technological shift uh, hastened by the pandemic has had profound and ongoing implications for the way in which our legal system interacts with and reaches members of the community and has also delivered greater workplace flexibility for practitioners, particularly for those with family responsibilities and in regional and remote communities. But while the increased use of technology offers a number of advantages, it's important to remember that the practice of the law has human nature and human interaction and human beings at its core. An essential part of being a good lawyer is understanding people, <coughs> how others react to different and difficult situations, how they perform or don't perform under pressure, and how they deal with each other. There have, of course, been other important changes in the legal profession that deserve attention in addition to those uh, technological changes brought about or hastened by the pandemic. When we think of the diversity of the legal profession, we encounter a duality that we have come uh, a long way in recent decades, but more still needs to be done. One notable example relates to the role of female lawyers. In New South Wales, it was illegal for women to practice law until uh, the Women's Legal Status Act uh, in 1918. Women were not even permitted to practice. But since 2018, women have made up more than half of all solicitors with a practicing certificate in New South Wales and currently make up more than two-thirds of solicitors under the age of 30. Some of the most senior positions in the law in Australia, moreover, are held by distinguished female lawyers, including the current Chief Justices of the High Court and the Federal Court of Victoria, Queensland and the ACT, uh, the President of our own Court of Appeal, Justice Julie Ward, Justice Adamson, a member of the Court of Appeal, the State's Director of Public Prosecutions and the Senior Public Defender, as well as the Presidents of the New South Wales Bar and the Law Society of New South Wales, all distinguished female lawyers. But there should also be strong representation of lawyers from the many different backgrounds which comprise our rich and cosmopolitan community. Diverse representation amongst solicitors, advocates and judges assists in ensuring that all people who become involved in our justice system, many of whom become involved involuntarily, can and feel that they can be properly heard and fairly engaged with by a system reflective of our broader community. The admissions ceremonies on which I have sat since becoming a judge four and a half years ago, including this ceremony this afternoon, highlights that there is a far greater diversity of background amongst junior lawyers than, I, when, than when I commenced practice. And that's a very good thing. And the leaders of the profession and the courts are working hard to foster inclusiveness and diversity. That is important not just in and of itself, but because it builds trust in and respect for both the judiciary and the legal profession and ultimately for the importance of the rule of law. So let me now offer a little bit of professional and personal advice, I hope not gratuitous. As a lawyer, you will often need to make difficult ethical decisions. You must use the tools you have developed to think critically and not compromise on your fundamental duties to the court and to the administration of justice. At various points of your career, you will make mistakes, some minor, some more serious. We all make mistakes from time to time. When you do make mistakes, your commitment to honesty, integrity, and the administration of justice means you must take responsibility, correct what you can, and learn from those errors. One mistake I would urge you all not to make is to give your clients the advice you think that they will want to hear. That will not be good advice invariably and they will not welcome it ultimately or in the long run when the true picture emerges. Lawyers have to be independent and courageous uh, in the advice they give, even if the advice is difficult or hard to deliver. Being a lawyer means that you are an advisor, a problem solver, a mediator and an advocate. As you go about your day-to-day -day work, remember that you are not merely dealing with the law in a vacuum, but the law as it applies to people's lives. An individual in need of your services as a lawyer will in many cases be an individual facing some kind of great personal challenge or crisis affecting his or her liberty, property, personal well-being or health or financial position. 
For these reasons, you must always strive to deliver legal services not only competently and fearlessly, but always with courtesy, integrity and sensitivity to the circumstances of the matter, not only your own client's circumstances, but in an adversarial context uh, with respect for the circumstances of your opponent. Now, in this context, I always like to emphasise the importance of the concept of civility. Aspects of the law, especially if you're involved in the litigation side of practice, are confrontational. That is the nature of the adversarial system. But the practice of the law can be stressful and demanding enough without personal animus and antagonism between practitioners adding to the load, as unfortunately sometimes happens. So it is essential, and I would advise you strongly, to maintain your detachment, balance and good humour, remembering at all times that you are now members of a profession, a profession and not a business. And remember this, the best advocates can and do make their point simply and succinctly. Often, less is more. Some of the most experienced lawyers and judges could also use that reminder from time to time, and I don't entirely exclude myself from that observation. For a non-lawyer, law is often incomprehensible, and one of your roles as a new lawyer will be to make the law accessible to others, sometimes by deciphering legal complexities, other, by other times by deciphering poor legal drafting, but more often than not by simply putting an often messy set of facts into, its, into an intelligible uh, uh, legal context for lay clients. So strive to be clear and concise at all times in both your writing and your speaking. To do so facilitates access to justice. In the practice of the law, your physical and mental health are both also <coughs> extremely important. There may, and I dare say, will be times when you feel overwhelmed, burnt out or distressed. Legal practice can be all-consuming and physically and mentally taxing. Now, that is often because lawyers are strongly motivated to do the best for their client, to make sure that the case is fully prepared, uh, that all authorities have been identified, that you're on top of the facts or you've given a clear, uh, detailed explanation for your clients. All of that is admirable, but it takes time and lawyers tend to push themselves both physically and mentally in discharging their obligations. So you must work hard to keep your balance and to keep your eye out to ensure that your colleagues do so as well. If you do get overwhelmed by it all, as frankly we all have from time to time, try to take a step back and recapture some perspective. Also remember that the law is a highly collegiate profession. And in this context, let me now call upon uh, two young representatives one of the New South Wales Bar Association and one of the Law Society of New South Wales uh, to say a few words of welcome. Ms. Anwar, do you move? May it please the court. My name is Fahim Anwar. I've been practicing for three years at the bar, predominantly in the area of building and construction law. On behalf of the New South Wales Bar Association, I welcome you all to the legal profession. The legal profession is an old profession based on precedent and the rule of law, while also being a profession that grows and develops to adapt to new practices and technology, and importantly, to society's values as they change over time. For several decades now, the composition of lawyers and barristers in New South Wales has changed to better reflect the community. The bar today is a welcoming place for people of all genders and backgrounds. It is an honor for me to be a lawyer, and in my case, a barrister, and I'm proud to be a member of the legal profession. I enjoy the intellectual challenge that my job brings and the fact that it allows me to give expert advice to and represent people in court and contribute to society in a meaningful way. If any of you are interested in coming to the bar, you can contact the Bar Association or have a look at its website. And, and each year there is a career at the bar open day, which I encourage you to have a look at. 
In your first year of practice as a reader, you receive particular assistance from two barristers with at least seven years of experience who meet with you regularly, review your work and teach you practical skills. But the support you will receive is not simply limited to those two barristers. The bar is renowned for its collegiality, especially in chambers. There are also opportunities to become involved in the work of the New South Wales Bar Association, which is the professional body that supports barristers and has a range of committees, including the New Barristers Committee, which organises social and educational functions for barristers with less than five years of experience, and a Diversity and Equality Committee, of which I'm a member, which promotes one of the key goals of the New South Wales Bar Association, to attract the best people to become barristers, regardless of their race, religion, gender, parental status, or sexual preference. Whether as a lawyer or as a barrister, I encourage you to get involved in the Law Society or Bar Association and use your skills to assist your community. It is a rewarding experience to practice in connection with others in your profession. So to conclude once again, on behalf of the New South Wales Bar Association, I welcome you to the legal profession and I congratulate you all on your admission today as a lawyer of this honourable court. Mr. Masri of the Law Society, do you move? May it please the court. My name is Bernie Masri and not so long ago, I was precisely where you are today. And what a momentous day it is for you all. You're here being admitted to the Supreme Court role at the end of a long and arduous journey. And you should all feel immensely proud of everything you've achieved thus far. When I embarked on my career as a solicitor, I had no real idea of what to expect. And there were, and I dare say likely remain, many uncertain challenges to overcome. But as I stand here today, after a few years of working as a solicitor, I can tell you that I've already learned a thing or two. Uh, and one of the most important things that I've learned is the significance of belonging to a profession. The legal profession is an increasingly large and diverse community, and one to which you all now belong. The Law Society of New South Wales is the home of that community, with our 30,000 members flung far and wide across the state. We're bound by our shared duties our commitment to continuous learning, our desire to connect, our drive to give back to our communities and to uphold the rule of law, a duty which also now rests with each of you. As an early career lawyer, belonging to a strong network of peers is crucial. I've been a part of the Law Society's New South Wales Young Lawyers Branch for five years. And here I've found friendship, inspiration, guidance, as well as opportunities to advocate and join committees and support when I needed it the most. By joining the Law Society and New South Wales Young Lawyers, you'll, uh, you'll gain access to professional support, conferences and events, a wide range of publications, professional development opportunities, mentoring, vol volunteer opportunities, and so much more. It is the role of the Law Society to ensure that you, as a newly minted solicitor, can thrive and succeed in your new profession. So again, congratulations to you all. Look us up or speak to your employer, and we look forward to uh, welcoming you into the Law Society community. May please please call. Well, can I say this uh, to you all in closing? The law, I hope you will find, is a wonderful profession, stimulating, challenging, and satisfying. And it's populated by intelligent, committed, and dynamic people such as yourselves. You should be proud to be a lawyer of your achievements to date and of the profession that you have just joined. It is a very important profession because it underpins stability and cohesion in our community. You are now a very important part of that very important profession. So work hard, take pride in your work, look out for your colleagues, contribute to your community and don't take yourself too seriously. We wish you all the very best of luck on the exciting journey that lies ahead and a full and rewarding career. So on behalf of Justice Adamson, Justice Griffiths, and indeed uh, all of our colleagues on the Supreme Court of New South Wales, 
I once again congratulate you all on your admission this afternoon and welcome you to the legal profession. The court will now adjourn. All stand. This honourable court is now adjourned.